In a first step towards clot formation, platelets are recruited to the site of vessel injury by now exposed molecules of the vessel wall, such as collagen and von Willebrand factor. This factor mediates the linking of platelets to collagen via a specific receptor in the platelet membrane. The resulting change of shape of the platelet from its resting state into the dendritic form indicates activation. The activated platelet in turn releases prothrombotic molecules such as adenosine diphosphate, ADP. By binding to its receptors, ADP induces aggregation. And recruits further platelets to the site. Thromboxane is another important mediator of platelet activation and aggregation. Under its influence, the platelets cross-link with each other. These interlocking mechanisms cause platelet activation to snowball. The clot grows rapidly. Activated platelets also trigger the coagulation cascade and thus the formation of thrombin. Thrombin, in turn, stimulates platelet activation even further a continuous feedback loop. Additionally, thrombin induces the formation of fibrin for the mesh stabilizing the clot. The self-reinforcing process of platelet activation, crucial in the formation of blood clots, is an obvious therapeutic target in conditions caused by inappropriately triggered blood coagulation.